Shalom. I like to start off by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honor to the teachers and lessons of apostles of great millstone and likewise, brothers of their putting on this truth. Faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep and to brothers and sisters tuning in. Shalom. And as you all know, the job of the prophets and the job of the watchmen is to do what? To warn the hopefully lack of Yashua, the Israel, the so called blasting Americans and Latino. And also to give warning to our brothers and sisters who are out there in the world who are part of that two third, okay, that are following the ways of Esau, the Edomite, the so called white man. And it is not seeing the impending danger, okay? And I know that this, uh, you know, these type of lessons that goes into the market of beasts is not the most popular one, but we have to bring out the warning because there are changes that's going on right now. As you know, the recent, you know, news piece is that the WEF is stating ahead of time that in the near future, okay, that the digital currency has to go underneath your skin. Now, they're denying it as uh, conspiracy theorists, but we also know that this man is, what, a pathological liar. Let's start off with our first book here. This is the book of Psalms 10 and Psalms verse 8, and it reads, He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in his secret places, dirty murder the innocent. Who are the innocent? The innocent is us, our so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latino, the sons and daughters of the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashi, Shai. And it says, His eyes are privy set against the poor. He lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in wait to catch the poor. He dug catch the poor when he drawed him in his net. He crouched and humbled himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Now, his strong ones are those that own everything, okay? All facet of our living is dependent on Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay? And he has this set up in such a way that there is barely any kind of way that you can escape from this man okay which is the reason why you see the whole entire earth okay falls under the oppression of great babylon america we can go into the book of deuteronomy 28 and 48 because it, the how about you shall let us know exactly how this is going to take place okay and it says therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the lord how about you shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things i just said to you earlier okay part of this snare, this net that Esau is able to catch us in is because why? This curse that is upon us, okay? We have to go to this man for everything. He owns, okay, the buildings. He owns the money. He owns the food, the farm, okay? The clothes that we wear on our back, okay? This man even controls the air that we breathe, okay? Because he, he can actually make it poisonous if he wants to. And it says, and in want of all things, he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay, so these are the things that we see we're, we're going through right now, which is the reason why this man, knowing, okay, that we are the chosen people, okay, Yasharala, a so called Black American, a Latino, okay, and that we've been punished by our father, Yahabashim Yahushai, okay, that he's able, okay, to fulfill all of his desire to continuously oppress the children of Israel, okay. Let's go into the book of Revelation 13 and start of verse 16, okay. And it reads, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in his right hand or in their forehead. Which we know that the technology is already there. Okay, so this is just a matter of them going through, you know, the, the um, how, how should I say, you know, the song and dance before they actually make it a mandatory thing. And it says, And that no man might buy or sell save he had that mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have knowledge count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score, and six, 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 six. Okay, so we have identified that this beast, okay, is not some big monk monster that's going to just, you know, prance around the earth, you know, and, you know, devour people. No, it's 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 a man. Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man, okay? We've already seen the face, okay, of the representation of this beast system, the WEF, where they're coming and they're letting you know that at some point in time, they're going to have you take this under your skin, okay, this technology that they have created, because why? They they love you so much, okay? And so this is not a far-fetched thing here, as you see this devil, this K-man, okay? It's telling you, Jakes, if you want to eat, drink, sell buy okay continue to live in this society you have to do what you have to get linked okay linked into what okay this is this the system that they have set up right here okay they link you into these super uh, uh computers what they call quantum computers okay which is going to do what uh, uh basically it, it is going to uh, it's going to see your dreams it's going to know what you're thinking it's going to know what you're buying it has your whole entire life okay linked to the system okay and this is a system okay that 
Esau, okay, desiring to be like the Most High Yahweh Hashem is going to is going to bring the force on the earth. Okay, now this is a judgment that's coming from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay, upon the earth, okay, because why the whole entire earth is wicked with the exception of those that He chooses to save, okay, by the grace, okay, which is who is going to be the hopefully elect of Yahshua Israel, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos, okay, those part of the hopefully elect. Now a lot of you, Jake, you fell for Elon Musk. Okay, and the Starlink. You probably heard about this a couple of years where he talked about what? Giving free internet across the earth, across those nations, you know, where they can't get, you know, internet connection in, in the dug on desert. Okay, so why didn't he start off giving free internet to his own people, the people that look like him? Okay, these, these, uh, these Edomites, the so called white people. Okay, because Esau, okay, is not a man, okay, of any type of righteous conscience. Okay, let's go into the book of Odile 1. And five, because we can give you a description, okay, of this man, okay? It says, If thieves come to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Esau is a like a locust, okay? Everywhere this man goes, he destroys, he steals, he takes, he murders, he kills, okay? He does whatever it takes. To be on top and constantly being able to rule this earth and other wickedness. Let's go in the book of Psalms 58 and 3 because it gives you a clear image of who this man really is. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. He's a liar. Nothing's free. Why would this man want to go and spend billions of dollars to create free internet? It makes no sense. I haven't gotten my free internet yet. Is it Starlink existing? Okay. I still have, I still have to pray to Pay, pay uh, three digit for internet. I know, I know you brothers, sisters, sisters out, and so it's the rest of the doggone poor swabs out there having to pay for the internet. Okay, so this man, okay, constantly, okay, goes into in, into into a deceptive state because why? And he understands, okay, his main target, which is Yasharalo, okay, a so-called Latin American Latino, he understand the position that we're in when you go back into Deuteronomy 28 and 40 where it says therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things who is who the so called white man he wants it all okay and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. We are destroyed, said the people saved the hopefully lack of Yashrala right now, who has been shown uh, mercy by the Lord Yahweh Shemashai to wake up in these last days, okay, to go in the highway and the byway and to testify against this man, okay, and to also help uh, uh, awaken the uh, hopefully lack of Yashrala, okay? But everybody else is in that great deep sleep they depend on this man they believe his lie because they want to find some type of, of goodness in this man because they're seeking some type of uh, of, of, of of like uh savings grace from this man because it's why this man has set himself up okay to be the savior of the earth okay now you gotta understand this this is a fixed scheme okay this is a fixed scheme now we are always going to be in need because why there is a, a, a particular way in which the salvation is going to uh, uh, come about, okay, for those who, who, are, who are part of the hopefully lack or those who are the, the chosen, okay, to be saved by Yahweh Shemesh, Yahweh Mashiach, our king, a Malak, who is going to be coming to eventually take this man down. Let's go into the book of Ecclesiastes 13, okay, starting with verse 11. Okay, because contrary to the way these other camps are teaching out there, you know, I'm talking about the IUIC, the one body, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, and many of the others out, out there that we don't even know of, okay, and we can especially talk about the Christianity Church, I mean, it, it's, it's just a given that they're, they're, just lost in the, they're just lost in the poop, okay, it is important that we understand and we know, okay, who to call upon during the great tribulation, during the time of needs, and even right now, okay? And before I go into the scripture here, I'll let you know that, you know, I was attacked by demons in, uh, in, my, in my sleep last night, and I was also attacked by uh, DC spirits, okay, while I was, while I, while I was sleeping. And I, and I call on the name of Yahweh Hashim Yashai in my sleep. I also even threw curses on these, uh, these uh, demons that, that came in the form of people against me in my sleep, okay? And, 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 and was, 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 was taking on that situation, okay? So it's very important that we understand and we know, okay, who to call upon, okay? Let's start off now with the book of Ecclesiastes 13, Star Wars 11. It says, Affect not to be made equal unto him in talk, and believe not his many words for which 
with many communication, he will tempt thee and smile upon thee, will get out thy secret, which we see in this is happening. It happened to Michael Jackson. It happened to Mike Tyson. It is happening to all these jakes out there right now because they desire what? To be like him. And we were warned about what? Affect not to be made equal unto him in talk. Well, we already know in Deuteronomy 28, okay, when you go to the first half of that, of that chapter, okay, we had the blessings. And then it turned, it says, if you don't, Follow the commandments if you don't love the Lord thy God, thy power with all thy heart and all thy mind, okay, that we are going to have these curses, okay? So it tells you that we were always in a, we were in a higher state and we've been brought down to the lower state, okay? So why Jake's them desiring this when you have the prophets that are going on the highway to buy right now letting you know who we were, okay, and who we are, okay, and what is what we are about to, uh, to get, okay? in the new kingdom that's going to be coming here on this earth after this wicked one has been has been destroyed and it says but cruelly he will lay up thy words and will not spare the duty hurt and to put thee in prison meaning what esau always speaks in a in a way that you are going to what it's called they call it entrapment okay this man is always looking to twist things around and take it okay so that he can use it to bring it up against remember this man okay is our enemy our oppressor okay he has no love for us whatsoever this is his time okay and he's ruling it in the way he wants to rule it which is what in utter wickedness okay and his ultimate goal is to do what okay have everybody okay linked in okay to his system so that he could what present himself as god he can be the god here on this earth it says observe and take good heed for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing we are constantly in peril okay you, you, you have a conversation okay open or, or, or extending your voice beyond a, a volume that is deemed you know uh not you know creepy or, or, or making uh these edomites you know scared of you and i'm talking about the so-called negro man okay like myself okay you can find yourself what it says observe and take good heed for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrowing when thou hearest these things okay awake in thy sleep okay this man will take your words okay hey you know like we seen what's going on over there over there with that with that eve over there in dubai okay she exerted herself you know voluminously that she does here in great bible on america and it's not panning out for her okay so it's the same way it has been over here for the so-called negro okay and, and and jake in in general okay but in particularly okay from the tribe of from the house of judah okay so-called blacks a so-called uh, Negro men, okay, of the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, okay, who are, who are often the target of being put to death over here or in prison. And it says, let me read back in 13, it says, Observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in peril of thy old and when thou hearest these things, awaken thy sleep. We are uh, to be awakened now. This is why you have the elder siege and apostle great Muslim, likewise, brother, doing this great awakening right now, Okay, we're doing the work of the Lord Yahweh Shimi Yahushai, Yahushai Mashiach, okay, which is a preacher's gospel, which, which should bring the awakening of those that he has chosen to hear his words. And it says, Love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. What do we have to say? Okay, when we are in great peril, when this man is going to come like a flood against us, okay, when this man, when we're going through Jacob's trouble, we have to call out what? Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rakakadash. There is no Jesus Christ. There's none of these other doggone things, okay? All right, so this is, this is a fixed game because the Lord has made it very clear. You will not get out of the situation you're in without calling on Him. And that's what you're seeing here. It says, okay, that we have to call upon Him. Let's go into Second Ezra. Okay, because we're we're starting to see, okay, that this man, he's not gonna only just bring out the system, okay? He's also gonna make sure he enforces the system, okay? And this is second Ezra sixteen, starting with verse sixty seven, it says, Behold, power himself is the judge, fear him, leave off from thy sins and forget your iniquities, which is talking to us, to meddle no more with them forever, which is the repentance of the one third that is now you see happening right now so shall power lead you forward and deliver you from all your trouble and this is our hope this is why we call ourselves the hopefully lack for behold the burning rod of a great multitude is kindled over you the entire all the other nations are against us leading the leader of them being esau the edomite okay and if you notice that they have everything at their arsenal the weapons the the money the food everything okay again we are under the curses still of deuteronomy 28 and 48 which these curses are now transcending over to what the rest of these nations okay starting with these edomites and it says 
and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trod on the foot. So if you bow down, if you bow down, when you see, you know, the troops are coming, when they send a SWAT team after your ass, when you see the drones are flying around, when you hear the bullets flying, the lasers are shooting from whatever uh, little, little, you know, uh, drone, drone, drone plane that they have flying. Okay. When you hear that, that those APCs driving through, the tanks are driving through, you know, you're getting slammed down to the ground like that. And you consent to them because you're scared, you're hungry, okay, you're 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 afraid because you don't trust in Yahweh Shimei Hashai. It says what? And they that consent unto them should be had in derision and reproach and trod on the feet. So you're still gonna get destroyed. You st they're gonna laugh at you. You said I'm gonna laugh at you because why? Again, they already know who we are, okay? They know we're going through the judgment, they know that this is really the test, okay? Even though in their pride they believe that they can continue on in their queendom forever and ever. And it says, For there should be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, the Habash Shimashai, they should be like madmen, sparing them, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Because why? This is the tribe of Israel, okay? The twelve tribe of Israel, Yashra, the Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom, okay? Okay, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Doesn't matter how light your skin is, okay? You are part of the tribe of Israel, and guess what? At that, at being that, we have a natural fear of food. The Lord, the Habash Shimashai. So they're coming after us Esau made it very clear Genesis 27 and 41 that he's coming after the entire tribe of Israel when that time comes okay this is the time it says for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses they're building laws right now which they can do that to you okay doesn't matter if your house is paid off you're paying taxes or you're good you know Jake in the, in, the, in, in the world or whatever cases like that at the end of the doggone day okay they have no need for the tribe of Israel, Yashra, the so-called Blacks, Americans, and Latino. Why? Because we are a threat, okay, to their continue, continue, continuous wickedness that they look to go and push forever and ever, okay? But as we bring this out, okay, Jake, them don't see this, okay, as, as, as anything different. See, they think, okay, it's a joke. This ain't no joke. This is serious business, Okay, so much so, let's go into the book of Judges 10 and 14, when this is taking place and you're going around, Jesus, and all that stuff, and, you know, you're still begging Esau for, for mercy, and you're going with your Black Lives Matter, and we have rights, and all this other crap, and you think that you're a U.S. citizen, and blah, 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 blah. Here's what Judges 10 and 14 says. It says, go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation. It's going to be at this point in time, okay, that you whores are going to stop twerking, that you dug on simp men are going to stop, you know, walk around sagging and stuff that you niggas gonna suddenly 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 realize that there's been prophets among you that those men that you saw stand up there with the signs okay in the sackcloths that was trying to warn you that putting up these videos that you would click by okay to go watch some foolishness that you wouldn't spend one minute of your life okay for your own salvation for your own life to, to save your children to save your wife okay you are now going to now go and try to come back and go, what was that name again? Who, who, who was that? I, I, I need to get out of it because even if you take the, the, the mark, you're still going to get put to death here or you're going to be preserved for the lake of fire, okay, which, 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 which has been that warning, okay? So it's not going to go good for you because it still doesn't go good for you right now. You can, you can look at that, the fact that those of us who have college education and stuff, guess what? We still don't prosper here. We still not prosper another way. All we have is DAP, okay? Let's close out here with the book of Revelations, okay? Um, this is the book of Revelations 3 and Star Wars 10 because, you know, the great thing about this is that, you see, the hopefully lack of Yashra, let's see, we have the fear for Yahweh Bashim Yashai, okay? We exalt, exalt the name of the Father, Yahweh, and we exalt the name of the Son, the, the Mashiach, okay? Yahweh Shai, okay? So we have fear, we trust, and this is, all we've got going for us is that we are going to be saved out of this. This is the book of Revelations 3 and 10. Stand with verse 10, it says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Who is who are these people? This is the one-third elect of Yasharala, okay? The believers, those who are going on the highway and the byway, teaching in truth and sincerity, okay? Those who the Lord Yahushua and Mashiach has chosen, okay, to save. And he says, which shall come upon all all the world entire earth okay to try them that dwell upon the earth okay and it's going to try them because see they're going to be going in the region also too they're going to realize that there's no such thing as white rights okay this man has a world in his hand okay they're going to see they're going to be walking like zombies going towards that to, to go get my chipped okay they're going to be going there okay but in the meantime there's going to be that protection okay 
that, that invisible force field around the whole field like of Yashua, like Israel, a so-called black Native Americans, and Latino, that siren crying this abominable wicked queendom known as Great Babylon America, okay, or United States of America, okay? So we are going to see the rest of the world, okay, as they bow down to this man, okay, Lord willing, for, as, as part of the whole field left, okay, but going to be in their protection and going to be in good spirit, okay? And it says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take that crown. We don't give a crap about your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, people that you knew before, people that you know currently know right now, okay? At the end of the day, we are all out to do what? Save ourselves. okay? Every man has to go and do what? Work out his own salvation. When I say man, I mean the doggone women and the kids, children too. And if you're the man of the household like that, you know, you could very well save your entire family, okay? And not be part of these two-thirds who are going to be like these people out here walking, okay, towards the chipping station. Lord willing, you are edified like the closer by giving all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honor, sister, teacher, sellers, and the boss of great most and likewise, brothers, are they put on the truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep and deep, brothers and sisters, are doing it. Shalom.